Craig Powers, ASUC News, talking to Alex Mendoza of Benjamin Moore about making effective data-driven business decisions. BW on HANA for us meant like a foundation guideline for the future that we're going to have. So we saw it as a building post for whatever innovation would come next. So it initially brought us more information at a more timely manner. So from a business perspective, they were able to see more data, more information as compared to the old system. And we were able to integrate it more inside BW on HANA. Given the features of BW HANA as well, we are able to generate reports now on a much larger scale and be able to connect many of the dots that the business originally needed to make sure that they could make an end-to-end -end decision from the start of the process to the end. I think um, when you start implementing an ERP implementation, we call it a transformation project for the company. And one of the things that people kind of miss is that the operational system of it is not truly separate from a reporting system. And when you're an end user, you start looking at it like, hey, I don't really care if it's operational or report. What I want is at the end of the day, I'll be able to do my job. So from our perspective, having them integrate together and not separating a report from an implementation would be key to the success at the business at the end of the day. One important key to our project success was focus. The ability to be able to have one goal for the company, which for us was making sure the business could continue to ship paints and sell paints and the ability that during the process, you make sure that any change request that we do would be vetted out properly. And for our project, we actually had a weekly review for the project. And so we realized that it's so easy to get lost in scope. So we had to make sure that we corral everything that might affect the project schedule. From our perspective, the business side is vital to the success of the project. I think one mistake that people would make is that you separate it between a business project and an IT project. At the end of the day, it's a company project. So there are many ways we could approach it. Um, some companies would say, hey, you know what, the business could give you the requirements, then IT would develop it and then give it back to the business. For some, that might work. It doesn't work for us. Um, some would go like the side-by-side -side co location and that kind of works for some. But from our perspective, whether your business, whether your IT, the real success comes when you integrate together. So the way we did it was we blurred the lines a little bit between business and IT, that you sit on the same table, you're not business, you're not IT, you're part of a company. We even made sure that the ranks do not matter whether you're a director, you're a manager, or you're a doer. You're all part of the same team and you had one goal. So that forced IT to truly understand what the business needs are and that forced business to understand how IT would support them. So again, it's about focus and making sure they have one goal.